We're really excited to be here as part of the ICS Village this year. Uh, we started with Hack the Sea Village in 2019 in DEFCON 27, and uh, you know we keep expanding the, the competition. Uh, this year we have three separate consoles here. We have uh, the navigation, the steering and propulsion, and the ballast one, which is new this year. This competition is really geared around trying to get people um, exposure and the ability to hack on equipment that they would not normally have, right? Most people don't have a boat sitting around, so we actually have the real electronics here, uh, and it's really based on the, the protocols. The, the NMEA 2000, CAN bus, and the Modbus TCP really have no security built into the uh, OT protocols itself. So there's about 20 flags to capture across all three of these consoles, and with that, it's uh, really focused on trying to bring awareness to the fact that the, the protocols themselves aren't very strong. It's really a security through security. So how can we help the community better understand that and hopefully press for a more secure uh, um, implementations in the future? We have a wide range of folks here. Uh, a lot of folks have never touched anything industrial or anything OT before, so folks that have worked on a lot of similar systems. Now, very few people have ever worked on a boat before because it's a very small uh, community that's actually uh, in the maritime cybersecurity, but we're hoping to grow the maritime cybersecurity research community through this event. The competition has been going great. We've gotten people that have attacked navigation console. Um, we've had people that have captured flags on the steering and propulsion console as well. The major one is ballast console. People are having trouble with that one. Um, there's a lot more to it of, of a technique that you have to do to attack ballast. So I'm really eager to see who will be the first one to capture a flag. But um, the teams are really engaged. Um, they're asking questions, figuring things out quickly, and really having fun out here. Once we hit that, we're going to have to find a way. Um, we're doing the ballast tank challenge, and it, we didn't expect it to be this difficult. The uh, first few challenges that were solved were a little bit straightforward. We have people that really knew about um, can. So what's our strategy for like figuring out what does what? Are we, is there a way to just like... And just kind of deep diving into all the packets and figuring out what's going on and, and any type of clue we can get, we just look into it and Google and try and learn as much as we can about what we don't know. For us, I think uh, if, if we just get one of the ballasts, we're we're gonna be happy. So. We're nearing the end of the competition. Um, it is a race to the finish uh, for the first place team. It looks like it's about 175 points that splits the both of them. But there is one team that has more navigation flags than the other, so that could be a tie-breaking point. Right now, it's, it's a lot of educational stuff going on and really just um, uh, bragging rights. Um, we have a team that's still trying to gain flags on propulsion and steering, um, and some teams that are new that are trying to get flags on navigation. So I think it's a good, good telltale sign that, I mean, it, it can be educational purposes and a competition at the same time. Hiding the HMI values, and we're filling Training the two. It's it's intense. Uh, we're probably going to be going down to the wire with uh, both our teams. Uh, you know, we're just trying to stay focused, uh, trying to get these the last couple points in here, and hopefully we can pull it off. Trying to keep a uh, close eye on that that timer. So hopefully we can wrap up ballast and put all of our energy into nav, um, and hopefully stay in the lead. It's it's going to be close though. All right, can I have everybody's attention? So that of our CTF competition. This is our final scoreboard. So in first, we have Ship Wolf Fire, Fire, Fire. In second, we have Vigilantes. And then in third, we have Ninja Time. Oh, it was, it was very close. I think we love the new ballast. It gave us a chance to do a little more like traditional IT style pen testing. We do uh, aircraft pen testing, so it was nice to have both sides of that. It was really, really close. <laughs> I think if we had managed our time a little better, we probably would have won, but I'm, I'm happy for that team. I think they did a great job. It was great competition. I was counting down. I was like, we've got seconds. <laughs> to lot to get any points because we're down by five and then you know and then he comes walking back looking all dejected and i'm like oh that's it we did our best and he's like oh yeah by the way i got two more flags and everybody's like shaking hands and congratulating so <laughs> hey defcon 
been running the uh, Maritime Hacking CTF, so it's S-E-A-T-F. It's an opportunity for uh, teams to come in and hack real maritime equipment. We brought about half a million dollars worth of equipment for folks to hack on. Uh, we had uh, 22 teams uh, participating. They captured 186 flags uh, throughout the weekend and spent a total of 1,871 minutes uh, actually connected to the hardware. And so uh, the first place team, if they would come on up, it is uh, the emoji team, ship, wolf, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> 